folks, this is Dan Zorn, superintendent of the Longview Public Schools. I'm here for superintendent story time. This week we're going to read The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. And, and Jim Field was the illustrator on the back of this book. It says, sometimes a little change can open your world to big possibilities. And that's what this story is about. Real cool little story here. Again, The Koala Who Could. In a wonderful place when the day was just dawning, and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think he replied I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not, cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said, I've clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same no matter the day. The weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tap, itty, tap, 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 tap. Oh, no. Uncling, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh, dear. I just can't. Woof. Down came the tree, and with it was bringing crash and a wallop. A Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo asked, Now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, What do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, Yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do because life can be great 
when you try something new. Isn't that just awesome? That's The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. And this is Dan Zorn, superintendent of the Longview Public Schools, where literacy is the most important thing we do.